Okay, in this lesson, we are going to be looking at the concept of dividing a fraction by a whole number. Uh, before we get there, what we'd first of all like to do is look at a few definitions here. So just three definitions, and then we'll look at the actual concept of how do we understand dividing a fraction by a whole number. So first of all, a quotient. Uh, kind of a funny word. Quotient is the answer to a division problem. So if you're ever asked the quotient, of let's say 8 and 2, the answer is 4 because the, the um, answer to 8 divided by 2 is 4. So the quotient of 8 and 2 is 4 or the quotient of 18 and 3 is 6, for example. So uh, that's that concept there. Second idea is that the order of a division statement, and if you remember the previous lesson, uh, you'll notice that this is different than with multiplication the order of a division statement is important. So for example, and don't write this down if you're taking the notes, but 5 divided by 1 is very different than 1 divided by 5. Okay, So the order of division statements cannot be interchanged. Uh, so when we're looking later on at dividing a fraction by a whole number, that has a totally different answer than dividing a, a whole number by a fraction. So just keep that in mind. The order is very important. Um, and here's the third key idea is basically how do we understand dividing a fraction by a whole number, which is what this section is about. You'll notice that 3 quarters divided by 6 uh, is a fraction divided by a whole number. What that means is we are going to divide 3 quarters into 6 equal groups. That's what that actually means. Okay, So let's look at how to solve these in two different ways. One is to use a model, and another is to use a rule. <clears throat> so here's the model that I'm going to use of 3 quarters divided by 6. So to divide a fraction by a whole number, you could use a model or a diagram, in other words. And this is just one example. You could use others, and you can ask me um, if you'd like to understand it a different way. That's totally fine. But 3 quarters divided by 6 means divide 3 quarters into 6 equal groups. So the first thing I'm going to do is represent 3 quarters. So let's divide this. doesn't matter what size you make it. Uh, this one's quite large just to show you the concept. All right, so I've broken this into quarters, and I need to shade 3 quarters. So I'll pull up my highlighter, and here is 3 quarters. I think you'd agree that this is 3 quarters. Okay, so the concept is saying we need to divide 3 quarters into 6 equal groups. One way to picture this is to picture what I'm shading here, this 3 quarters, picture it as some cake. Okay, so I've got 3 quarters of a cake, and I need to divide that cake between a total of 6 people, and I need to do it equally. So picture you and 5 of your best friends needing to share this three quarters of a cake. So here's what that would look like. Uh, I'm going to divide this into six equal parts. And generally you want to divide it uh, just for visual sake. It's much easier to do this horizontally. So here's six equal parts. So here's a part. Here's a part. I'm just dividing this into six rows because you notice that it's now into six equal parts. All right. So I've just divided three quarters into six equal parts. If you can't visualize it, visualize this as being your part and your best friend number one, two, three, four, and five. They each get this part. So this is the you part, let's say, for example. So how much cake do you get? So if I divide 3 quarters of a cake into 6 parts, you get this much cake. So the shaded in parts, you would get 3 pieces. I know there's 4 pieces in that row, but one of them's empty. So you would get a total of 3 pieces out of, and if you count all the pieces, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and you can count them all, <coughs> et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and you'll notice that there's 24. So you would get 3 out of 24 parts, or in other words, if you reduce that answer, you would get 1 eighth of the original cake. 
if we divided three quarters of a cake between six people, you would get one eighth, okay? So uh, that is that concept there, is dividing three quarters into six parts and seeing what one person gets. The second method to solving these is to using a rule. And what we noticed if you uh, did your study guide previous to this lesson is you notice what the rule is. So three quarters divided by six, we're gonna do the exact same problem, uh, but use a rule. What we noticed is we multiply the denominator by the whole number and we leave the numerator alone. So we're dividing three quarters into six parts. So what happened is you still get the three parts. So the numerator remains the same and it is now going to be divided into six parts. So there's gonna be six times as many parts which means your answer is 3 over 24. So there's your rule, and you could reduce it to become 1 eighth. Okay, and the final part of your notes, you should always represent your answer in lowest terms.